Bloodstones backers, it's Cassie here. And uh, I'm Ian, I do the animations but and videos, but Cassie's the community manager. And here we are with the very first sample, uh, or with the proper artwork, of Bloodstones from our factory. So obviously you can see here, uh, this one's gotten a bit damaged in transport, that's, uh, it wasn't shrink wrapped on the way to me, it will be for you. And um, yeah, hopefully that packaging will be resolved because of the different packaging companies we'll be using for fulfillment rather than just the factory flopping it out to us. Um, and we are missing the spot UV, which is just for this sample that they've sent. So never fear, that will be happening. The box has got the linen texture that I really like. It's pretty subtle, but it feels nice. It feels nice on my fingies. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. Ian, do the honours. Okay, no, team effort. <laughs> oh, it's a very big box. There is a lot of stuff in there. Um, and we do have the uh, the winning quote. My at pick. The, <laughs> at the top of the box there, <laughs> which is really lovely. It's printed really nicely around the inside. Yeah, I'm really happy with how sleek and nice that looks. I think that interior box printing is it really is just such a nice little touch for games rather than just the bare cardboard. Cool, so I'm going to zoom right in here so we can have a look at what's inside. Yeah, so we've got our travel bag. So this is the one that's going to just let you um, whack all your stuff in there. You'll pick a map, you'll pick your factions, you get your cards and you whack it all in there and you can take it camping or you can just use it as a promo bag instead if you like. Um, We've got a lovely selection of the bags. They feel really, really nice. Uh, the cats absolutely love the tassels, so, you know, do be <laughs> aware you may need to um, keep your petos away. So now these are going to come um, with all the tiles are going to be in their little baggies, so then you can open those out and recycle the baggies. Um, there's a nice texture on the inside. Hands will comfortably, whoops, comfortably fit inside. Um, I have quite big hands, so never fear. Unless you've got giant hands, you will get your hand in there. So we've got all the factions. Um, all the little bags also have the nice artwork as well. Um, cool. We had, we had a note about the Chaos Horde being a little bit out of size but actually I think looking at it it's next to a dragon and a giant <laughs> and a guy on horseback uh, let's move these down a bit and a ship and it seems to be reasonably similarly sized to the necromancer cool so um, we'll come back and look at the tiles in a second yeah. while we're here let's have a look at the maps yeah which are all coming out of the bag. So obviously they're fabric, they feel really nice and they are huge. Let's just have a quick look at some of the detail here. Yep, and I'm going to put one through the wash later and just do that wash test just to double check even though the first sample we had with the old art was fine. And just for scale there, yeah, huge. Quite big, <laughs> yeah. So um, I'll, I'll actually just go look for the five to six player map to show you the difference. Um, we might set that up a, a separate shot, shot later. So I'll just scoot that up the end of the table and I'll go having a look. Number four. So this was for one to six players. So this is included in the solo mode. And you can see that is very, very big. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is, this is not a card table size map. We have the rules. Look at the regular rules first. Yep. Um, now these are meant to be in linen finish. So I'm just checking with the factory about that. Um, I think, again, like with the box, I think they've just sent us this so we can look at the artwork and just be happy about that. Um, so we'll do a proper check through of that later on. The solo campaign, which is bigger than the regular rules. This is huge. It's really, really thick and it looks absolutely stunning. And even as a non-solo gamer, I am actually pretty excited to um, 
have a little go about this because yeah. I really like the story part of it. Yeah, so there's a story, 18 separate missions. It's going to be a ton of good playtime, I think, on there. Yeah. We have some faction cards, yep. which are double-sided. And one for each faction, obviously. So these are handy during the game. You can see exactly what your pieces do. Um, and then we have also, sorry, back to the rule book as mm. promised, we did put that reference card on the back of the page, um, the rule book, so that you can yep. have a handy reference. Yeah, keep oh. that handy for everyone during the game. Yep. The back, Zoop. the bottom of the box has maps inside as yep. well. But hey, let's look at the tiles. Let's yeah. look at the tiles. The tiles are the fun bit. Why don't we just tip the tiles into the box? We will tip some tiles in. So at the moment, when you get them, let's see how the focus is going. Great. So when you get one of these bags, you'll want to pull them remove out. the tiles from the plastic bag. If you don't want to keep the plastic bag, then don't. Satisfying that playing. is a satisfying noise. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So the tiles are upside down, Zs. <laughs> the tiles look really cool. They're really yeah. satisfying to hold and make a good noise when you throw them around. The colours are really, really nice. Yeah, um, and they should all be, you know, very friendly. If you've got colour blindness, then you should still be able to tell the difference easily between these tiles. Now, any of these village tiles and the citadels, you'll just want to pull out uh, because you'll put them back in the small bag. They just didn't physically fit into a smaller plastic bag uh, for shipping, so just pull them out and put them in here, which is where your uh, other counters for shuffle and uh, or regroup, sorry. Yeah, these little guys. So in these yeah. tiny bags, we've got these little guys, your citadel and your 20 villages. Um, yep. Yeah, and that all goes in the, there like that. Um, and and all the rest of the regular dominoes shaped yeah, tiles will go back go in the big bag. Back in here when you finish your game and then you're all set up ready for next time you play. So. Cool. So yeah, we should have a look at the other tiles. Yeah. This is really fun. Shall we just dump them all out? Dump them all in there together? And just see we're, how we're many making, tiles. Like we're, we're making some work for ourselves here, but yeah, sure. that's let's, all right. let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna take the horse lords. Focus. Okay. Horse lords. Oh cool. These look good. Okay. Nice. Uh Corsairs. That is a oh, really man. nice blue. I like that a lot. That is a really beautiful blue. Cool. Alright, we got the Chaos Horde ready to Chaos go. Yep, um, Chaos here's Horde. something I prepared earlier. Okay. Focusing, Chaos Horde, great. What do these tiles look like? They're all pretty, pretty good. They look pretty good. I think that, you know, it's it's kind of an unappealing colour, but the Chaos Horde are very nasty. So I think it works very nicely for them. Yeah. Um, they are Desert Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> cool. In We've my got, head anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Hill Folk. These are yep. really cool. So these are that nice brown colour that we changed right at the start of the campaign to deal with the colour blindness issues. So these are Pantone colours we have set in our Photoshop and also had a few of our colour blind backers check those. Nice. Oh, lucky necromancers are last. So I won't tip out the battle tiles because that would be, I mean, why not? Why not? <laughs> cool. There we go. These are looking cool. Excellent. Okay. Oops. There's a few more. Maybe Oops. look like. Let's zoom right in on that pile. Now, I guess in theory you could just travel with all of this together in the backyard and just freak people out, but I think putting them back in the bags is probably a sensible idea. And then obviously right at the end of all that we've also got our battle tiles as well. So yeah, that's they're very different, like very yeah. noticeable in their colours. Yep. So dark grey or light grey, and I think there could be some people attached to one of these two colours. 
Yeah, I'm going to be after like the dark ones. I think there's going to there's going to be some disagreements about <laughs> who's going for which lucky tiles and who's not. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of think that like the defenders should always get the light grey and the attackers the dark grey maybe, but that's because I'm a bit of a goody two shoes when it comes to battles. <laughs> anyway, very cool. Yeah, so I'm going to have a good time uh, sorting all that out at the end of this video. <laughs> ah, now we do promise one more time. Oh yes, yeah. We have. And we can't forget this one. <laughs> this the... is that that little bit of fun that we all had throughout the campaign. Um, this was brought on by one of our backers who was like, oh, we need to have a cat riding a unicorn. And we're like, we do need to have a cat riding a unicorn. So, so the this, is, corn. this is the cutie corn. <laughs> uh, optional rule. You can ignore the cutie corn and not play with it if you wish. Or you can enjoy the fun and embrace the weirdness of this little pink cat riding a unicorn. Yep. Isn't there as I, mean, I personally would like to sneak a cat into every game in the future, but we will see what Martin says about that. <laughs> cool. So obviously there are lots of maps. We've got we've got everything set up on the big big map for six people, and we've got all the cards set up. And look, there's there's tiles that make satisfying clanky noises, and you know you can make dragon noises. Um, you know, if, if if you want to use a dragon to attack, you know, oh I don't know, a citadel. Well, attack the then, citadel. Yeah, then that's that's definitely <laughs> doable, and yeah, you can make dragon noises as you go along if you want to. So that's really cool, and if you have a look down the other end of the table, just for scale, as well as the cat you can just see on a chair, we've got all the other maps for scale. So we'll just put the cat in, in the shot. Here is the cat. She is a large cat. She takes up space. Uh, she also very fat. <laughs> and so just so you can see all these other maps, we've got this one. And this one, and this one, and then there's that last one, yeah. which is very cool. And uh, so once once you're done, once you've finished your game, and um, cool. you know, I hope there are no mistakes in this play, which we did set up, and it should be a real game, but you know, there might be some mistakes. But we're done. I love it. I love it so much. Yay! <laughs> and just pack it all the way in the happy red bag. <laughs> Excellent. So I think we'll yeah, probably do that next. That, we'll yeah, just put I'm everything just gonna... in the happy red bag. have everything everyone we've got the the bag and the box and the rules and the solo rules and it's exciting we're nearly there so close yay thank you uh, cool